Brett, who is your garbage person for the week? In many ways, my garbage person is me for not seeing this a month ago when the story happened. My <laughs> wife was reading the news and I just think we needed to cover this. Um, let's just show this. You know, There are concerns being raised about an AIDS memorial planned for downtown Palm Springs. A reporter for KESQ has more on the controversy and possible changes in response to those concerns and shares a photo of the AIDS Memorial proposed statue. And some people are criticizing it. I think some are putting it quite bluntly like LGBTQ Nation, which said in its headline, Palm Springs residents complain about proposed AIDS Memorial anus statue. It's become a laughing stock. And that's the last thing we want, a local <laughs> resident said. And then also uh, in the same uh, article, quote, the proposed memorial looks like a graphic depiction of the backside of a human being. Or more bluntly, the AIDS memorial looks like a butthole. Now, I don't know. Some people don't see it. If we can go back to that first graphic, can someone tell me if you see this? I don't, I don't see it, but that then again, I don't spend a lot of time looking at my own butthole, but I, I from my vague recollections of the show community, uh, as seen in graphic four, there was a whole, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it now. Uh, you probably shouldn't make it a butthole. I feel like you should, <laughs> you should make it something else uh, that doesn't make you think of a butthole. But who's garbage? It Palm Springs residents for saying this looks like a butthole or the artists and the commission, like the city for commissioning this in the first place? I think commissioning a AIDS memorial statue is a good thing to do. I think uh, I'm garbage just for not realizing how hilarious this was because I guarantee you the person who made it was probably thinking, oh, it's the infinity, we're all connected, it's all a circle of life. Um, but if they were like, I think finally there's an excuse for me to make a butthole and no Hell one will yeah. notice. It's my who's gonna, who's gonna say I hate that AIDS statue? Honey? I know what you want to do with this project, and I'm urging you not to. <laughs> You're always holding me back. <laughs> if there was ever a time to do the butthole sculpture, it is now. Um, no. Yeah, it's a little too on the nose, a little too on the butt, you know, a little too on the hole. Uh, on the brown nose. It's a little too on the brown nose for me. And uh, even though I do think it's important, it is very funny. <laughs> it's so great, so great. So that's my, that's my garbage person. Who is yours? <laughs> my garbage person. Um, I don't know uh, this. Okay, so of course this was the week that uh, Representative Mike Johnson was finally voted in as Speaker. Um, House is back in session, and even though he has a history of anti-gay statements and and thoughts on gay marriage, the log cabin Republicans are like, "Do we still got it?" So they congratulated Representative Michael Johnson on his election to become the 56th Speaker of the House of Reps as Speaker and the leader of the GOP in the House. It will be imperative that he work to implement an agenda that advances the interests of all Americans. Um, so he conti they continue saying they need to promote rational common sense proposals to maintain and expand the Republican House majority. And it's like, it's just sad to me. And I, I feel like, look, I think there should be a log cabin Republicans. I think there should be a, you know, the gay caucus, the LGBTQ caucus of fiscal conservatives and people who still hate migrants, you know, but like your party has completely turned on you all. And, and, and ironically and weirdly, this is supposedly a MAGA party and arguably like under Trump's, you know, uh, uh, presidency and even election, a lot of like gay folks were prominently supporting Trump and that was not seen as contradictory. Um, but now, but ever since Lock Cabin Republicans, they've been iced out of like different, um, you know, CPAC conferences. Their like tables have been taken down. I believe, and it was in Texas. Like to say nothing of the effectively anti-gay agenda um, that is, you know, you can see in the Moms of Liberty book bans to, you know, um, to, to just to the anti-trans stuff to everything. Uh, and here, you know, just NBC reporting, of course, about uh, Mike Johnson's past. He wrote a prominent amicus brief in the Supreme Court case Lawrence versus Texas, arguing in favor of allowing states to criminalize same sex consensual sex. 2003, the brief argues that sex between a man, between men should be banned because it's more likely to spread sexually transmitted diseases than sex between men and women and therefore poses a distinct health. Yeah, sure, that's why. Um, he continues to say homosexual relationships are inherently unnatural. 
and are harmful and costly for everyone. Society can't give its stamp of approval of such a dangerous lifestyle. If we change marriage for this tiny model minority, we'll have to do it for every deviant group. I mean, come on. Polygamists, polyamorous pedophiles, and others will be next in line to claim equal protection. They already are. There'll be no basis to deny a bisexual right to marry a partner of each sex or a person to, wait for it, people, marry his pet. And in the words of my husband, who's a comic, who has a great bit about this. It's like, bro, 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 bro. You keep on talking about like people wanting to marry their dogs. Is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> like, is there something? He's like, can we marry poodles? That's what's next. <laughs> and you're like, like that person is clearly wants to do their dog. If you keep on talking about like being gay equals bestiality. Anyway. No, um. I feel for the log cabin Republicans. I, I feel bad for them and I think they're trash. And I think again, back to our Lauren Boebert plea, you could easily just become a Democrat. They're not radical, they're not crazy. They're actually fairly conservative, a lot of them. Just be a Democrat, dude. Anyway, you guys had picked a garbage person. Uh, there were runners up of conservatives for crying about Listerine's rainbow packaging. I missed that. Jenna Ellis for her crocodile tears. Oh, come on. And James Comer pretending to have a smoking gun on the Biden, on Biden investments. That's 11%. And then in what are we, third place, fourth place, George Santos for lying about his niece being kidnapped. <laughs> Can you blame him? But number one with 51% garbage person is Trump for wanting an ideological screening of all immigrants. Yeah, I mean, even then, I don't know. But he's got to one up himself. He's got he's got to outdo his Muslim ban, um, which I think he reiterated this week. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.